everyone if you're a subscriber uh, welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Lizzie and today I'm going to be um, kind of reviewing I wouldn't say review because I just want to try it for myself maybe it'll count as a review but I purchased this on my unboxing Amazon nail haul <laughs> video if you haven't seen that I'll link it in the description box uh, but these are the foil kits that I bought and I was hoping to use that to remove my damaged uh, nail from my practice hand. Um, I've seen another YouTuber use it to remove it from her practice hand and I'm hoping that it'll work for me. I kind of damaged the tip that is glued to my practice hand and I will also link that video uh, down below I had been removing the design that I had on this hand and during the process the middle finger uh, I had such a hard time removing and it seems as though I may have damaged the nail but I don't know if I've damaged the silicone hand and so my attempt today is to remove it um, I mean I really damaged it it's cracked into different areas and the sidewall on the left side is completely gone um, and I'm not sure if I did damage the silicone hand so I if I remove it I'll be able to tell and that is what we're gonna be doing today okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open the box this will be the first time I'm opening the box um, and I'm gonna also use the 100% acetone I bought this on Amazon and it's supposed to remove um, regular polish gel polish acrylics and uh, nail wraps uh, so I assume that it also worked for the tips I mean obviously it'll work for the tips so that's what I'm gonna be using with, along with the foil kit so I just want to see uh, what's inside I'm not um, happy that they're loose in the box I might have to buy a separate container for it um, and they, I believe this is a gel a polish remover it almost works as the like the cuticle pusher when you're removing acrylic it's only made for gel polish but I don't really use that um, and look at this they give you a 50% coupon so that you can use on your next purchase but it looks like it's just for a nail polish set um, a gel polish at that that's pretty cool I mean that's kind of nice and this is another 50% off but it looks like it's for a nail drill machine and they give you the coupon code that you can use on Amazon believe it or not so that's pretty cool I kind of like that um, so I'm not impressed that the foils are loose in the box um, but um, we're just gonna go ahead and move forward with trying these out. I'll probably buy a different bin for this, a plastic bin to put them in because I'm not too fond of them being loose in the box like this. So um, I'll be shopping around for that. And so we're gonna go ahead and try uh, the foils and see if it'll work for my practice hand. So they don't seem as big as um, I expected them to be, but um, I mean the little pad seems to be big enough to fit on the whole finger. So I'm going to go ahead and soak it with the pure isotone uh, and see how it'll work for my hand. as tight as possible to try and get the acetone to really uh, soak in the tip and I'm gonna wait about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll be back to check on it okay so by now it's been about 15 minutes um, and what I did is I'm I have uh, some isotone here and some wipes uh, just in case I need them to kind of clean off the finger and a cuticle pusher to kind of take off the uh, excess um, stuff that's gonna come out the tip 
Um, so let's see if this foil actually works for the practice hand. So it seems to have kind of melted off, but not really all the way off as I was hoping for. So I'm not sure if this pad holds well enough acetone to be able to do what I wanted it to do. So what I'm going to do is get a cotton ball to see if that works a little better. Um, and we're going to go ahead and put that isotone on the cotton ball to see if that works. Okay, so take two, we're gonna see if the cotton ball helps and we'll check back in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm really uh, crossing my fingers that this worked because I really want the snail tip off and I wanna see if my hand, ooh, ooh, the cotton ball is stuck to the tip let's see if we can just kind of remove as much as we can i mean it doesn't look that bad um it melted everything that's on the visible nail bed but the rest of the tip um seems to be stuck in the canal where you insert your tip um i don't think that that worked um, I mean it worked but not like I wanted to so I'm gonna try another one and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna soak it a little bit more and see if maybe the isotone will make its way into the canal um, so that I can remove the remainder of that tip. So we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for another 10 15 minutes and hope that uh, third time's a charm <laughs> and um, see when we get back how that worked wish me luck guys okay guys so we've already tried three times uh, to remove the uh, tip from here and we're gonna check the status of that now I do have a backup here to see that if this foil doesn't work maybe this other method will work um, I mean it looks pretty clean but I don't see much of the tip that's in the canal coming off like I don't see it melting so I don't think that the excess uh, acetone on the tip of the foil worked I mean it's just so so much in there I mean I could see that it tried because it's, it's kind of melted I don't know if you can see that um, and I'm being as gentle as I can possibly be to try and remove what is loose uh, but because it's in the canal I don't think that it will work um, there just seems to be um, so much I don't know if it's the glue or if it's part of the um, silicone that looks like that I think it's the Gorilla Glue that we use to tip on uh, sorry to glue on the tips but there's this massive amount of uh, what I'm gonna call glue um, and a lot of the uh, tip still remaining in the inside as you can see there um, let's see if it's loose no nope, it just doesn't seem loose um, so we're gonna try the cotton ball. I'm gonna soak it as much as possible and I'm gonna attempt to 
uh, put in a bit of the uh, cotton inside of the canal and that's if I can successfully do it um, to give that a try so here we go for another 10 to 15 minutes and um, see if this works guys um, wish me luck so this is our fourth try um, I've been here for over an hour trying to remove this thing so I'm hoping that this method works uh, let's start cross our fingers that it does um, let me see stuck to it like the last time um, let me see if anything came loose I mean there is something there but I think that's just the cotton that got stuck there that um, is sticking to what did get to wet the tip um, but I don't think anything else other than parts of the cotton that got stuck I mean the nail bed is clean it's just the inside of the canal that I'm trying now to um, clean out and I'm trying my best to be as gentle as possible trying to figure out if there's any pieces that are um, you know wet enough or uh, melted enough for me to be able to take it off but guys I don't think that um, for this practice hand that um, this method will work so I'm gonna try my best to clean as much as I can and guys I'm trying my hardest not to have to soak this hand but there's just so much in that canal I don't know if you can still see that there's just still so much in there that um and I, I, trust me I am being gentle but I don't think that this method is gonna work uh, for this practice hand so I may need to soak this, guys. It's just not coming off. Okay, guys, so I kind of, I, I give up on trying to clean the canal I tried my best to use a different method other than having to soak through isotone but guys I don't think that we don't have any other choice so we're gonna try soaking okay so what I did is I took the smallest dappin dish that I have and filled it with isotone and put it on this much larger um, bowl and I'm gonna try and just try and dip just that one finger because I don't want to ruin the rest of my uh, tips on the finger so let's see how I can position it to get it to just soak that one finger and not affect um, the rest of my fingers <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna do this maybe leaning it somehow will work um, and let me see if I can try and separate the fingers the other way um, bring it on this way and see if maybe this will hold the hand in place <laughs> um, let's see if, if it'll hold up come on hold up please there we go no 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 no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hold on to this hand guys So off camera I was able to figure out how to um, lean the hand on the bowl and um, uh, what I was trying to do is make sure that enough of the fingertip is soaking in that small uh, dappin dish. I think it's up to what you call the first knuckle uh, of the finger. I don't know if you can see on there. Um, let me see if I can 
uh, show you what I'm talking about uh, when I mean the first knuckle uh, of the hand. Um, I don't know if you can see it from there, so give me one second. I'm going to show you what I mean when <laughs> I say the first knuckle. Um, what I did is submerge enough of the fingertip to get it up to right about there. Uh, so that that way the isotone can go into the nail canal um, and be able to soak. Okay guys, so here we go. Um, I don't know, we're on our unteenth uh, try. Oh, uh, paper towel is stuck to the bottom of the bowl. Sorry guys. Um, Let's go ahead and see how effective soaking. I mean, obviously we know it's gonna be effective. I just wanna see the difference between the two and oh my God, look at that. It came out. That piece that I was struggling with came out like nothing. <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of a uh, gooiness still in there. So let me just kind of wipe it down with some acetone. more we can remove and just kind of clean it off I mean the nail bed I mean the obvious um, part of the nail bed that you can see is clean and we obviously took off uh, quite a lot from the canal but there's still some uh, what I can see is glue that may be stuck within um, the sidewall so I'm gonna try and clean that out I'm gonna try my best not to damage the hand um, let me just see if this, it, yeah, see, it kind of removed all of it, so I'm, I'm kind of happy, I'm, I'm glad, um, that it worked, obviously, it was going to work, it's soaking, I mean, we tried so much, because sometimes it gets a little bit, um, sloppy, or, uh, just messy to soak it, but in the end, that's pretty much what's going to have to work for this hand, and I don't know what this Gooiness is it just won't all come off and guys I am I promise you I'm being gentle but there's just something about this part of the sidewall what just that won't come out and I don't want to damage the hand so I'm kind of inspecting it to see uh, what's wrong with it but I, I don't want to damage the hand so we're just gonna soak it a little bit longer and see if if it'll work guys bit of um, what I think it's Gorilla Glue stuck on the sidewall, um, but I think I've just taken too long trying to clean this off that, um, I mean, it's fairly clean, so I'm, I'm happy either way. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to zoom you guys in um, and just kind of show you how clean the difference between uh, the before and after. Um, and you can see that's just that little bit of um, what I believe it could be the Gorilla Glue, if not the silicone. But it, you know, overall, you can tell that the um, hand is, uh, or should I say, the nail bed is pretty clean. And I'm also showing you here the damage that I did receive from uh, moving, removing my design. You just have to kind of be careful how you uh, glue in your tips in order to avoid that. But nothing. Nothing big, uh, you just got to make sure it's sidewall to sidewall and make sure you get the right fit for um, the fingertip in order for you to uh, avoid damages like that. So, I mean, my, overall my hand is in, in great shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the hand.
do I think about the foils? They work. They work for what they were meant to work for, which is to remove gel polish. I mean, it's clearly on the box, but it was not meant to obviously remove acrylic. It's not meant to remove tips off your fingers. Uh, it was meant to remove a gel polish. So it works. It's just not going to work for my practice hand and for what I purchased it for. But I will continue to use it on, um, like myself or family members who just want to remove a simple manicure gel polish that we may have done. Um, but it works. Nothing wrong with it. Just not for my practice hand. Now this method, I will tell you, um, I'm sure it was meant to work, but the cotton ball just gets stuck to everything. Um, so I don't think that I would ever use this method on myself or even on my practice hand. Now, this obviously, as everybody knows, works. So um, as much as we want to avoid having to use the pure isotone and having to soak our hands, um, to remove it um, obviously there is a reason behind why we use that 100% pure isotone to soak in um, so this is going to be my main method in being able to remove the tips off my hands and so um, that is what I will be doing moving forward so pure isotone is what's gonna work for my hand so guys, I mean, what a journey. <laughs> um, I just want to take a, a moment to say thank you for clicking on the video, hopefully watching it all the way through, and hopefully you've learned something watching me attempt to remove the tip off my hand. Um, so thank you so very much for taking that time uh, to watch, and hopefully you will consider subscribing and clicking on that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload. I hope that you uh, follow me on my nail journey and I also hope to see you in my future videos. And guys, stay tuned because I do have some tutorials coming up for Christmas nails and one specifically for New Year's Eve. So if you want to stay tuned for all of that, subscribe so you can get notified when those tutorials come out. And thank you once again and um, I'll see you guys on my future videos uh, like my video comment down below share and i will see you next time